Hi beauties, today we're going to do our first foundation review of the year. We're going to do a review of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. This one's been out, I think, over a year. I went in to buy the new Double Wear Nude, but when talking to the Estee Lauder counter representative, we spoke about the nude being so much of a light coverage I decided that it would not be good for me at all and I decided to try this one instead this one is a 15 hour foundation it's supposed to be natural looking with a SPF of 10 it's supposed to give you a light to medium coverage it gives you a natural look fresh as air it'll give you a natural look your skin's supposed to be able to breathe in the heat. It's heat and humidity resistant. So I think this foundation would be good to try in the summer. It's oil controlling and it's oil free. It has some silicone in it. It's alcohol free, paraben free, and fragrance free. It's dermatologist tested. And also it won't clog the pores. So I think if you have acne, it'll be one of those good foundations for you. I have very dry skin, so I'm gonna say right off the bat, I've tried it twice, and I don't think it's working for me. I'm gonna give it one last try tonight. The first day I tried it, I tried it with my Holy Grail Primer, my um, Makeup Forever Step One. It's a hydrating primer. It didn't do right. It it just around my nose it was patchy looking I didn't like it at all I'm gonna use my normal everyday concealer the Tarte Shape Tape okay that went on pretty smooth one day I tried it and I built it up to medium coverage maybe when I did that is when it got kind of cakey on me but just looking at it here, it really looks nice. And you know, um, I think if you work out, this would be a good foundation to use when you work out. Hi beauties, we're back. It's not quite 10 hours. Um, but it's about almost 10 hours now the foundation is supposed to last 15 but anyways I can tell around my, my nose area it has worn where I wear my glasses and also in the fine lines of my forehead to me it looks very dry um, but it's not bad this time I really moisturized before I put the foundation on knowing that it's not really for dry skin types. I think this is a good foundation if you have normal too oily skin type. I think I could wear it like if I did work out, I will give it another go during the summertime here. Right now it's in January and we're actually having a winter in Louisiana. Because when I did try to build it up, it did look a little cakey. But overall, it, it won't be a new foundation for me. Like I said, I may try it if I work out or go walking and the need to put on a little bit Make makeup. Holy Grail is still the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. But I will keep trying different ones out. Um, you never know. You might find that new one that's best for you. And I like not a really matte foundation and this one's just too matte for me i will keep this one just to try again in the summer and if i worked at work out but i won't be wearing this and i won't be replacing my current foundation that i wear so in closing i want to ask everyone to please subscribe i would really really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and that'll be it. Until next time, bye.